1987, I guess, is the year of the boat race mutiny. And uh, in a nutshell, um, it was uh, largely a dispute about uh, training methods and, and selection. On one side, we had five world-class American rowers. They disliked um, the, you know, the, the, the selection, the, the training, the whole, the whole situation so much um, that they, uh, it wasn't just a matter of objecting. Uh, they had a better idea, which was to take over the entire show. On the other side, we had essentially the good guys, myself, and uh, Daniel Topolsky, the legendary coach, and a core of actually very good uh, British rowers. We called a, a big meeting of all the college boat club captains and, uh, and asked for a vote of confidence, and they voted um, by a huge majority to support what I was doing. And so we then had a kind of clear mandate to go forward. And in fact, we selected the Americans that we wanted. The result was that they all decided they preferred not to row, so, so they, did, they didn't, and um, we went forward with the, uh, the remaining crew members. There's a lot of anger in that crew, and a real desire to, uh, for each one of us to prove something. Here's a crew that had mutiny on their hands only a couple of months ago, and yet here today, Oxford are coming home to victory. When we finally crossed the line first ahead of Cambridge, it was an amazing moment. It was a bit like a dream, I, I, you had to kind of pinch yourself that it really happened.